Hey guys, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're out here at Lake Mead. A lot of videos on, on YouTube showing Lake Mead because it's been in the news a lot lately because basically it's drying up. And as you know, I live in Southern Nevada. I've been in Nevada my whole life. Been out to this lake a bazillion times. So I'm gonna show you a different perspective than what maybe you've seen in other videos because I actually live here and you know, it's really heartbreaking what I'm looking at out here. So, pretty windy, so I'm not going to do a lot of talking, but uh, this right here, I was fishing off of this little fishing pier two years ago, and look at that. So anyways, I want to show you some neat stuff around here, talk about a few things, and uh, guys, just sit back, hopefully you enjoy the video. I do want to say that, you know, I went to elementary school in Las Vegas, which is 20 miles from here. Um, I went to high school in Henderson, Nevada, which is 10 miles from here. So, you know, we used to come out here on weekends, you know, when I was a teenager, go swimming, fishing. Uh, we're going to talk about Saddle Island. We're going to talk about Pyramid Island. And anyways. Let me show you a couple things and then uh, a couple things I want to talk about. Hey guys, I want to point something out real quick. That area right there, that's the Boulder Beach picnic area. And, you know, I've had picnics there with my family many, many times back in the 70s and 80s. But right here, this used to be the beach. But if you look out this way, that's where the beach is now. It's almost three quarters of a mile away from the uh, picnic area. So right now, I want you to take a look at Pyramid Island. And as you can see, it's no longer an island. And just to the left of it is a dike. And you know what? We used to walk out there and fish off of that dike many, many years ago. And if you swing over to the right, that's Saddle Island, and as you can see, it's no longer an island either. And I believe that is a uh, water intake tower. Hey, I want to talk about something real quick. I mean, like I said, this, this is very personal for me coming out here and reliving some old memories. And here's a good one here. When I was a kid, my dad would bring my, my brother and I out here, and we would fish right there off of Saddle Island. And back in the early 70s, we were fishing and sitting next to my brother. And he says, hey, look what I found. And he reaches down and he picks up this silver half dollar. This is a Walking Liberty half dollar dated 1943. And, man, I just fell in love with it. I was collecting coins when I was a kid. So, uh, so I gave him 75 cents for this, right? And... Uh, like I said, that was 50 years ago. I, I still have it. Just something I will just keep forever. I do want to mention that back in the early 70s, 75 cents would buy you about two gallons of gas. <laughs> hey guys, check this out. We just found two boats on this island. I've never seen these boats on YouTube before, so just kind of stoked about this. But check out these two boats. Hey, check out this boat we just found. Ain't this pretty cool? And uh, look how far away from the water it is. And check this out. I'm sure you guys have seen this a few times on YouTube. And I think there's the remains of a boat, a couple of them right there. And then there's another one. Where is it? Right there. Look at that. 
So yeah, I guess this is kind of a a boat graveyard right here. Hey, speaking of graveyard, Okay, yes, I drugged that skeleton all the way from home just to do this. Hey, right now I'm at uh, Boulder Harbor and you know what? Used to be a boat ramp right here. There used to be a big marina, but as you can see, not anymore. There's, uh, there's buoys down here. I mean, look how dry that is. Now look how far away the lake is from this spot. Hey, you know, I don't have a boat, so I can't take you into some of these really cool coves and show you some old sunken boats or whatever. But I'll tell you what, right now I'm glad I don't own a boat. Because out of five or six boat ramps here on Lake Mead, only one is open now. And that's at Hemingway. And on weekends, it's a four-hour wait to launch a boat. So... Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of glad now I don't own a boat, but we do have a couple of kayaks. And man, we love coming out here and fishing on them. We also just like to explore maybe on the river. But even launching a kayak is getting harder and harder because it's either getting too muddy or the hike down to the water now is so steep we just can't get kayaks down there so even a big impact with us kayakers hey you know one thing that really just baffles my mind is they just keep building here in southern Nevada I mean, this lake is going dry, and they just keep building. Let me give you three examples. This is Water Street in Henderson, and they're putting up this big motel. Okay, I can understand. It's a tourist attraction that Henderson is. But right here, basically a mile away, they're putting in all of these apartment buildings. I don't know how many, but it's a lot. But you know what's really scary? Check this out. This used to be the Black Mountain Golf Course. A developer bought it two years ago. And right now they're in the process of putting up to 900 homes right here. Can you believe that? So you know what? I, I, it just boggles my mind. If uh, Lake Mead gets below 895 feet it goes into dead pool status which means there's no water running out it's just going to become stagnant uh, like I said the generators at Hoover Dam aren't going to work I mean this lake I mean it supplies water to millions of people in Nevada Arizona California so guys there you have it you know I don't know what the solution is but someday if this drought doesn't end, this lake is going to be bone dry. And if it becomes bone dry, we'll be out here finding bones and more boats maybe. But anyways, thanks for watching our video. And uh, we're going to try and do more of this. So let us know if uh, you're interested. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Help me! Somebody help me! 
my dad used to bring us out here fishing when I was a kid and we would fish off Saddle Island well one day back in the early 70s my son and I it's my brother and I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>